Today's GT6 leaks are shedding light on some intriguing aspects of the game. Could Manuel Perez be the voice behind Lucia? Social media's role in the storyline is also under scrutiny, with speculation that Jason and Lucia's journey into crime is influenced by online glamorization. This fresh perspective could lead to compelling character development, unlike anything seen in previous GT titles. And let's not forget about the QS train, potentially setting the stage for thrilling heist missions. With each leak the anticipation for GT6 only grows stronger. Subscribe and we will get screenshot leaks soon. Thank you and let's go. These scenes are very similar to the part in the cafeteria robbery mission. The poles are still in the same place. And of course, some changes have been made. One of them is from the early development stage and the other is the trailer footage. It is estimated that the next Take 2 call will be around May 15th, and here's what I think we might see in this call. An approximate release date for GT6, possibly fiscal year 2026. They'll report on how the development is progressing and may discuss how much is left in the development process. Rockstar will release 5-10 to 10 screenshots of GT6 on that same day or a few days before. And some people saying May 8th always on the 8th May. Also, GT6 should have functioning widescreen wipers, which change with the intensity of the rainfall. This would make for some really immersive wipes during a storm. Out of all the ridiculous expectations posted on here, this one seems the most likely. 80% of cars should be enterable and for the prosperity and continued longevity of the game. Also, Manuel Paris is literally Lucia, and here's a good voice comparison. Let's hope that in trailer 2 we can discuss and find Jason. So, let's hear what she says in a GT Online uh, character in a casino, if I'm not wrong. So, basically, you could check it out yourself right here. Can't be doing that. Stop it now. Nope, you got no business here. Out now. Can you get the hell away from me? Hey, you. You better get out of here. Don't do nothing stupid. I'm walking away. I'm doing it. Open it. Come on. Open up the register hey, now. Who wants to be next? What's okay. up? No. Bad luck, I guess. The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together. Being a team. Trust? I don't know if I'm in a very small group of players, but I would love to see a deep 4x4 element to GT6. River crossings, camping, hunting, car modding will be massive in 6, so I think this could happen, and I would just love to spend hours battling the wilderness. So, who wouldn't at some point? Sometimes I just want to be a good citizen and chill out and not be eaten alive by mosquitoes. Now, we need to get bitten by mosquitoes in GT6, but please, no malaria. The next one we're going for, OG senior Rockstar developer Obi Vermage says there is a new product at Rockstar that is managing GT6 that everyone there seems to be excited about. And here we can see the throwback when the legend Hideo Kojima presented an award to Dan Hauser, Sam Hauser, Lastly Benzias and Aaron Garbutt at BAFTA 2014. With Lastly and Dan absence, uh, do you think Sam able to pull the GT6 like 5 on Red or Red Dead Redemption 2. How's your experience working with Sam? And there is a new product producer at Norse that everybody there is raving about, and I forgot his name. He's managing six together with Aaron Garbutt, and I'm sure they'll do a great job. The next one we are going for is, if a game like GT6 takes so long to develop, how do they make sure it's set in a modern day? If the game has been in the making since 2014, how do they make sure it's set in a modern day? Uh, as 2025, the year is released if they already developed most of the game before that point. It will not be one and one to one of our real world. They can take some creative liberties. They'll just put things generally associated with the early 20s and make up some events. A lot of the core parts of the game aren't going to be that much different. Driving, shooting, movement, buildings, etc. all look the same. And the only thing that is really different is minor cultural things. But those likely came later in development in the past couple of years. This is actually an interesting question, especially with the designs of cars and parody of current events. I would assume that 
most of the groundwork is laid and world build but etc beforehand with the final edition being things we'll notice as from this time period cars from the two 2010s don't look different from the cars now outside of the cars having individually of course so they could put any car in the game it wouldn't matter how you play GT online since when has it ever mattered about if the car you're driving is actually from the day the game is set in there's a fucking flying bike of course that's basically what it is Next up, what year will GT6 be set? We can assume, we can assume it will be set 2025, but I think it's possible that with an apparent evolving map, we may see time moving forward, and I would love to see seasons get introduced again like Bully. And I think it's very likely they would do something like this to have the game set over a couple of years around 2025 and 2027. Top 5 wish list for GT6. Five things you want to see in GT6. Mine are more advanced police AI. If the police don't shoot you on side when you have one star, then it will already be an improvement. Second, ability to kidnap NPCs. So how cool would it be to tie up NPCs, throw them in the boot of your car, drive out to the Everglades and feed them to the alligators LMO. Seriously though, we need more interactions with NPCs like this in GT6. Third one, half decent gore. It doesn't have to be in anything insane, but a good amount of blood and realistic animations would go a long way. Uh, fourth, BMX, Kaya skateboards, longboards, electric bikes, and scooters. I know BMXs are nothing new, but I would love to be able to do tricks with them. And same goes with skateboards. How fun would it be hanging out at the skate park online with your friends doing crazy tricks? And a five, better engine sounds. I hope each car will have their own unique sound. What are the five things you want to see in GT6? Let your, let your imagination run wild. Write in the comments what are your top five priorities and wish list for GTA 6. A GT6 story idea I had. As we know, social media is going to play a massive part in the 6's world. While I was originally against it being a major theme in the game's plot, I actually think Rockstar could implement it into the Jason and Lucia story perfectly. I'm assuming the GT6 will be the second most grounded uh, GT uh, story-wise behind 4. As we know, Jason and Lucia are both young small-time outlaws and presumably broke, struggling low lives. And what if the reason they got into the crime in the first place is due to their impressionable self? Else. Being caught up in the crime world they've seen online, in films and games. You know the type, the people that flex their gangster lifestyle, the movies about how badass the life is, and they won't believe lives, uh, they want the better lives and believe that the crime is easy and they can just be good criminals with a moral code. Based on that bullshit, they've been fed through the media. And if you're even seen a better call, so Jimmy believes that he can just be a friend of this cartel and be safe while still reaping the rewards of crime, is something like that. Eventually, they end up seeing the unfortunate truths early on when they witness the brutality and the cold bloodness of real hardened criminals in a lifestyle that's dying and only supports those without the heart and realize they are too far into the game already to back out slowly decaying as people as a result of their greed and immature foolishness. This would result in amazing character development as we see two young, relatable enough people become heartless criminals over the course of the story and not something any GT protagonist has ever really done. And not only would this be a great uh, meta commentary about the GT series, uh, particularly GT Online, and how it's not an accurate reflection of crime at all, and how people who believe it is a foolish, uh, it is our foolish, but it would also fit in with the pre-established themes of the HD trilogy. Constantly throughout the four, Nico is told constantly that the crime game is dying and that is becoming impossible for respectable mobsters, Gravelli, to keep their power as everyone has been consumed by greed and this Perration, Dimitri uh, Pegorino, Bulgarian. As a result of modern police enforcement being too much to handle, GT5 follows up on this by not involving organized crime much at all. And the only crime lord we see is Martin, who's a good ruthless psychopath. And the days of organized crime are numbered in a modern world. Yet Hollywood and social media don't betray it like that at all. And we constantly see rich people on top of us, always seemingly minimal effort. And some of us wish we could get there with a minimal effort too. Crime pays as 
as they say, and I have absolutely no evidence to support this, as which is why I'm not claiming it's a prediction, but I think it would be an interesting approach to take these two character stories in early on. Also, there we go, the GT6 Key West train. So back in the day, there was a railway that ran alongside a highway to Key West, which was shown in a trailer. And in a trailer, in a railway seems to be abandoned. Having this line be active in game can add some very interesting missions, like a train heist in the middle of the ocean. And concept trailer map railroad tracks is here, which is the blue color. So that's what we have for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.